Gentlemen, I have a plan. Well, U.S.-based freight carrier FedEx has applied with the United States FAA for approval to install anti-missile defense lasers on Airbus A321s. Arm the laser! Wait, FedEx uses mostly Boeing wide-body aircraft. They don't have any A321. Now, suddenly they want to strap lasers onto planes they don't even use? Oh man, we gotta get to the bottom of this mystery. And we're going to do just that, next, on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here, with a fascinating story filled with lasers, mystery, and intrigue. Hey, but before we start, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, would you please consider doing so? I'd be really grateful if you did. Okay, let's get into this. On Friday, January 14th, the FAA filed a notice of proposed special conditions with the Department of Transportation, publicly acknowledging for the first time that they are currently reviewing a request from FedEx to add infrared laser technology on some of their aircraft. The technology is designed to project a laser beam outside of the aircraft that counters and disrupts a missile's heat-seeking capabilities. To be sure, various forms of anti-missile systems are not exactly new to civilian aircraft. In 2004, Israel's El Al airline became the first airline to equip the anti-missile system on commercial airlines, which was based on the technology developed for the Israeli Air Force called Flight Guard. Flight Guard is a sophisticated radar system used to detect incoming missiles and eject flares to confuse and deflect the missiles. When a plane comes under attack, the system responds by firing flares that are designed to divert the heat-seeking signature of the missiles. However, the system the FAA and FedEx are proposing isn't just to deflect, but it is the type of system employed by the U.S. military that will directly target the specific incoming threat and disable it directly rather than just attempt to confuse it with a shower of flares or other countermeasures. Okay, let's take a look at the documents the FAA filed. I'll leave a link to the PDF of these documents in the description so you can read them if you like. This action proposes special conditions for the Airbus Model A321-200 airplane. This airplane, as modified by Federal Express, will have a novel or unusual design feature when compared to the state of technology envisioned in the airworthiness standards for transport category airplanes. This design feature is a system that emits infrared laser energy outside the aircraft as a countermeasure against heat-seeking missiles. The applicable airworthiness regulations do not contain adequate or appropriate safety standards for this design feature. These proposed special conditions contain the additional safety standards that the administrator considers necessary to establish a level of safety equivalent to that established by the existing airworthiness standards. So a few things immediately pop out there. First of all is the revelation about FedEx strapping these lasers to an Airbus A321. Why that specific plane? I'll get into that in a minute, but the other obvious question is, why would a freight carrier need a missile defense system in the first place? While putting a missile defense system on a FedEx plane may strike some people as odd, it's actually a good idea, and there is precedence for it. In 2003, a surface-to-air missile hit the left wing of an Airbus A330, operating for DHL just after takeoff from Baghdad, Iraq nearly bringing down the aircraft, and by all accounts it should have. But the job that crew did safely landing that heavily damaged and still burning aircraft was nothing short of a miracle and still rates as one of the most amazing emergency landings of all time. Also, most of you may remember in 2014 when a missile attack took out Malaysian Airlines Flight 17, a Boeing 777 that was shot down over Ukraine killing 298 people. And there have been other incidents in history as well. So as I said, it's actually a good idea. Although the FAA just filed the paperwork in January of this year, FedEx actually applied for a supplemental type certificate to install a laser-based missile defense system on an Airbus A321-200 model back on October 16th of 2019. The FAA's filing also highlights proposed special conditions that must be met by FedEx before any approval of this system would be granted. Let's take a look at some of those now. Number 1. 
the system must have means that prevent the inadvertent activation of the system on the ground, including airplane maintenance and ground handling. Such means must address all foreseeable failure modes and operating and maintenance errors. Number two, the system must be designed so that its operation in flight does not result in damage to the airplane or other aircraft or injury to any person. Operation of the system must not be capable of compromising continued safe flight and landing of other aircraft and the airplane on which it is installed either by direct damage, laser reflective damage, or through distraction or incapacitation of the crew. Number three. Laser safety information for maintaining or servicing the airplane must be prominently placarded on the airplane or laser-based missile defense system at the location of the laser installation. Number four, instructions for continued airworthiness, installation, removal, and maintenance of the laser-based missile defense system must contain warnings appropriate to the laser classification concerning the hazards associated with exposure to laser radiation. This includes instructions regarding potential hazards to personnel who are using optical magnification devices, such as magnifying glasses or binoculars. Number 5. The Airplane Flight Manual Supplement, the AFMS, must describe the intended functions of the installed laser systems, including identifying the intended operation and phase of flight. The AFMS must state, CAUTION, the operation of the installed laser system could pose a significant risk of injury to others while in the proximity of other aircraft, airports, and populated areas. Okay, so now we know why they want to use the laser on the aircraft, but I still have a burning question. Why the Airbus A321? Why not a Boeing 737 or 757? Well, Richard Abilifa, a managing director at aerospace consulting firm Aerodynamic Advisory, has some thoughts. He said that FedEx could be looking at this as a one-off experiment, purchasing an A321 and testing the technology to see if it wants to add it to more of the company's fleet. Or the company could also be planning on purchasing some A321 planes as part of a Civil Reserve aircraft fleet that the military could employ in hostile territories, he said. However, this isn't the first time the U.S. government and other civilian American airlines have looked into adding similar countermeasures to commercial aircraft over the past few decades. But the high cost and low risk of domestic missile attacks eventually caused them to shelve the idea. Now, aviation regulators will have 45 days to hear and receive public comment before deciding on approving the infrared laser system. So how about that? Laser beams and FedEx. I'm surprised Jeff Bezos hasn't already done this with Amazon. I really hope it happens though. Sounds like some good future content for the channel too. I can't wait to read your comments on this as well. Like I said, it's fascinating and mysterious. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. Really quick before we go, I would like to thank Dennis and Nicholas Bolke Daman. Nicholas, I hope I pronounced that right or got at least close. Thank you for supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee app. And if you would like to help support the channel, you can always find the links in the description. And of course, the best and always free way to support the channel is simply to subscribe. And don't forget on your way out to like, share, and ring the bell too. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.